Hello, welcome to the show Crime Talk. We often hear about some cases without evidence and witnesses, which leaving us with that mystery's baffle in the mind. Today's story is about a music teacher who is unusual suspect in crime, an unexpected murder mystery. But this is not an ordinary story. This music teacher harbored a dark desire as he wanted to commit a murder. But why and how? This is the story of a man who turned into a killer. It's a story you won't forget, whose questions plagued him. How to find the victim, where he sits in his room one night and starts typing on Google. How do I kill my wife? He finds an idea and set his plan into motion. Hours later, after killing his wife, he ponders, what if I'm caught? Where he again searched, how do I dispose the body? He found these seeking answers, all without anyone's help. This case slowly unfolds and reaches the police. But there's no evidence, no witnesses. So how do the cops catch him? How does the police unreveal this case and the truth behind this murder? To find the answers of this question, we must dive into the story. In the story, there was a young man named Prashant Namdiyar lived in Kollam district, Kerala. A 33-year-old man. He was a music teacher by profession. Prashant was married and having one child. Once, Prashant visited in a family function along with his family, where one of her wife's distant relatives arrived and meet Prashant. Her name was Suchitra Pillai. She was 45 and financially stable woman. Suchitra has a dark past as she was divorced twice. In the family function, Prashant and Suchitra strike up a friendship. Suchitra finds herself drawn to Prashant's warmth and kindness. And Prashant also has a sweet corner for her friend Suchitra. Now, through social media, their friendship becomes deeper. Whenever Suchitra visits Prashant's house to meet his wife, he used to call her sister. They have now started talking more and even begin meeting outside. Time passed slowly. Both are happy and everything was going smoothly. Then one day, Prashant needs some money, so he borrowed 2.25 lakhs from Suchitra. Their relationship is now about a year old, and the truth was still hidden. Now, in 2020, just before the arrival of Corona, strange things started happening. So Chitra offered Prashant an offer. She said, I know you are married and already having a child. You've got a complete family. But what about me? I'm totally alone, so I want a child from you, so that I also had my own family. Now, after hearing this, Prashant got scared. He was totally pointless. He thought, how is this possible? I am already married and have one child. Tomorrow she will claim that she needed the name of the child's father. Then in that case, what am I doing? So he started avoiding it. But as he had already taken 2.5 lakh rupees, so before return the money back, he wouldn't able to avoid her. What if she files a complaint? On the other side, Sachitra keep forcing him. He thought that now, if he caught a stubbornness and really wanted a child, he was unable to comprehend her anymore. He felt that he could not put it off much longer. And on that day, he came to the conclusion that the only way he could survive was to find a way out. Finally, he began making plans to kill Suchitra. As we have said, Prashant began looking for a solution on Google by reading newspapers, periodicals, and television shows. Now, whatever search techniques he employed are already reflected in his Google history. So Chitra is determined to keep her promise that she won't get married again, despite her troubled history. But she has known to call a family. Could her second chance for happiness lies in their friendship with Prashant? Now, on March 17th, Sushitra told her family she was leaving town to teach. She left, but not for teaching. She actually arrived at Prashant's place. And on the other hand, Prashant sent his family away to his in-law's house. Now Prashant and Suchitra have decided to live together. So, on the night of March 20th, Suchitra, dressed black, blended into the darkness, arrived at Prashant's house. This was a time when a secret love story turns into an unexpected murder mystery that night. At night, after dinner, they slept on bed. But Prashant isn't asleep. He waked up, and he doesn't have an idea that his life was about to take a dark turn. 
he slowly put his footsteps forward towards Suchitra. Then he suddenly strangled Suchitra, and after a few minutes, Suchitra ending up her life. Then he covers the body, lost in thought for hours. Desperate Prashant Googles how to dispose of a body. He dismembers it, removes the jewelry, and buries the pieces in a pit behind his house. On that night, he burned Suchitra's clothes and placed stones on the ground too, preparing for something sinister. Then he took her mobile phone and left. Traveling 7580 came away from home. Before invited in his house, Prashant had already instructed Suchitra to keep her phone off before coming, as he knew the locals could track the location. He didn't want anyone to know that she was with him, not even her family or friends. So, on March 17th and 18th, Suchitra had already turned off her mobile before entering the village, as instructed by Prashant. Now, 80, 85 came away from Prashant's house on the nearest police station. He switched on Suchitra's mobile. After leaving it on for 10, 15 minutes, he crushed the mobile with a stone, breaking the SIM. Everything was planned. Now, Suchitra has vanished. She promised to return on the 21st or 22nd, but those dates passed without a word. Her phone, as per society's rules, is switched off. This secret society, with its rituals, rules, and mysteries, is intrinsically linked to Sujitra's disappearance. Unrevealing society's secrets may be the key to finding her. She left home under false pretenses. Her phone was switched off and no address was left behind. On March 23, 2020, her disappearance was reported to the police by her neighbors. They launched an investigation, tracing Suchitra's call records, and a police team was dispatched. The mystery deepens as no leads are found. What happened to Suchitra? The search continues. In the mysterious case of Suchitra's disappearance, an unexpected suspect emerges. The police initially stuck, turned to an old call detail record. A name surfaces, Prashant. They used to talk continuously for long durations. Suchitra's social media accounts reveal more. Both Prashant and Suchitra's conversations are extensive and prolonged. Prashant lands on police radar. A team reaches his address. They questioned him, but Prashant was ready. He had been planning. In this twisted tale, the unexpected becomes reality. Stay tuned as we continue to unmask the killer behind Suchitra's disappearance. The shocking revelations will keep you on the edge of your seat. Now, the prime suspect, a man who is very close to her, deleted all the evidences from her phone. And because of this, when the police arrived, they found an empty mobile. Despite multiple interrogations, the suspect maintained his innocence. He claimed Sujitra had another boyfriend, but no evidence supported this. With no leads, the police turned to a forensic team. They were tasked with retrieving the deleted items from the suspect's phone. The forensic team succeeded. They recovered a WhatsApp chat and some photographs as a potentially crucial evidence in the case of Sujitra's disappearance. The mystery continues but with new leads to follow. Suchitra's disappearance has left everyone puzzled. The prime suspect, Prashant, maintains his innocence. Without solid proof, the police can't arrest Prashant. They need more than just his word. But who else can be involved? The police turn to forensic science. They delve into Prashant's phone, laptop, and social media accounts, hoping to find a clue. In Prashant's Google history, they find a trail of his searches. Every search we make is stored, revealing our interests, our curiosities, and even our intentions. Experts turn to Google search history for clues. On the day Prashant vanished, his search history revealed a chilling question. How do I kill my wife? On the night of a murder, another search asks how to dispose the body. These disturbing searches raised red flags for the police. Why would an ordinary man, not a criminal or a cop, search for such things? Despite Prashant's denials, the police intensified their search. The police found a pit during their search. Inside, they discovered body parts and the ashes of burned clothes. These were sent to a forensic lab for analysis. 
The lab conducted DNA tests, the results. They matched, confirming the police's suspicions. The investigation into Prashant's disappearance took a dark turn, a crime with no witness and no tangible evidence. Yet the truth was uncovered. On March 17th, a woman left her home. Her mobile location stayed at her house for the next few days. Oddly, her husband and son were sent away. When questioned, the family claimed ignorance. They didn't know anything about all this, said by the wife and son. The police pieced the evidences together. Dana matching played a crucial role in shaping the charge sheet. This evidence was presented in court. The case was filed, leading to a historic decision. In a world of deleted chats and hidden truths, science and diligent investigation can still uncover the truth. Welcome to Prashant's digital world. It's full of secrets, some dark, some intriguing. Finally, his Google search history stand by against him. The truth is revealed. The Kerala police relied heavily on forensic evidence. Their investigation led to a conviction. Prashant Namdia was sentenced to life imprisonment. This case is historical. It shows the power of digital forensics. A simple Google search engine opened the whole dark truth of Prashant.